Hey, everyone. We are live at the Pace Studios in New York right now with Gringo Star. Guys, it's great to see you again. Thanks for coming back and doing this. And uh, uh, happy 10-year anniversary, too. You've been a band for 10 years. That's a big achievement. Congratulations on all of it. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So we're going to hear th uh, three songs today. All three of them are going to are included on the, the live album, which is coming out on July 12th on Baby Robot Records. It's called Controlled Burn Live in Atlanta. Makes sense. You're from Atlanta. Paste Magazine was birthed in Atlanta. It's a very Atlanta-centric sort of a day today. Um, uh, so thanks for coming and doing this. And can you tell us what you're going to do first? Yeah, this uh, first song is called Mr. Mystery. And uh, yep, it's on uh, our last album, Sides in Between. Cool. Thank you, guys. Uh, can we talk a little bit about um, about other live albums? Was there? Uh, do you guys listen to? I would imagine something like the MC5 or Iggy and the Stooges, and say, "Yep, I want to do that." Or did how, did how? What was the the reasoning? How did the how did it come together uh, that that we find ourselves definitely with into like Max's Kansas City Velvet Underground record for a long time? That kind of was like an inspiration for live stuff. But we've been wanting to do like a live capture for 10 years or so, and uh, finally felt right. Mm, Sam Cooke, Harlem Square, we always listen oh, yeah. to. Oh, yeah. Definitely that one. 
You're standing in front of the Scorpions tape over there. And uh, uh, the from... Kinks, everybody's in showbiz. Like, yeah, like that, that was like a half live, half studio one that been way into for a long time, for sure, too. And you guys, have, there's a, a homecoming show in not too long. You're going to be at 529 in Atlanta on uh, on August 2nd. Yeah. Where was, forgive my ignorance on this, I should know this. I'm the one with the internet right in front of me. But where did you guys record the live album? We recorded this at the Earl. It was like the record release show for our last album in the fall of last year. Nice. Well, hopefully everyone who's checking this out right now uh, and who is also in Atlanta or anywhere in the Southeast is able to check out the, uh, the the homecoming show on August 2nd. There's a ton of dates between now and then, including tonight. You're at the Mercury tonight, so have a great show tonight. And thanks for doing this on show day and braving all of the insane load-in and uh, nothing easy about getting into this building. So thanks for all that. Um, <laughs> that's a secret still, actually. So I'm, I'm glad you're off. <laughs> Um, Taylor Swift is, <laughs> is not here for sure. That's not <laughs> something that's happening. Um, can you tell us who you guys are going to do second today? Uh, that's also uncontrolled burn the live record. Yeah, this this song's called Good Night. It's uh, it was uh, on our last studio album. It's uh, one of the tracks on the new live album. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so you mentioned that that Sam Cooke live album, which reminded me that I read a lot, some some amount about your family history and about your granddad and about the shows that uh, that he had put on back in the back in the fifties in Georgia. Can you talk a little bit about your family history and how that's led you to here? Uh, yeah, our granddad, yeah, um, had like the record shops in Georgia back in the, I guess maybe he started in like the forties and eventually transitioned into DJ and then, then like promoting shows and stuff but I mean the way it most influenced us is like our parents had a lot of records growing up a lot of that like Sam Cooke and just kind of like oldies and soul stuff so we heard a lot of that then heard stories and uh, they had some pictures 
from a lot of the shows that like they had uh, it was in Columbus, Georgia, like at the auditorium there, like James Brown and the Four Tops and uh, the Solsters and a bunch of people, you know, they had come through there. So we never met him, but uh, we just heard all those stories and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that kind of got us into a lot of those people early on when we were young. Cool. Well, good, man. I'm glad that that happened. But yeah, and this is we've even always loved Sam Cooke, you know. Even that much more of a Georgia centric day. That's, I mean, if the comment section is, we tend to do pretty well in Georgia because Paste is based in Atlanta. So Georgia tends to tune in. We do well in New York. We do well in California. But there's, uh, Atlanta is very much in the comment section right now. And, uh, and I'm glad that they are. It would be weird if they weren't. And uh, yeah, dude, people are stoked on the other side of these lenses. So thanks again for coming and doing this. Um, uh, can you tell us what you're going to do third off of the live album? Uh, this last song is Back to the City. It was like the title track on the last record. Cool. Guys, thank you for coming here and doing this. We appreciate it very much. Um, good luck getting uh, the van out and getting getting out of this uh, midtown mess and over to the Mercury. Have a great time uh, at Mercury Lounge tonight. Uh, there are a number of North American days. I think one, one in Canada, mostly uh, Midwest, East Coast, Southeast, uh, throughout July. All those dates are up at gringostar.net. And, um, and then the homecoming show at 529 in Atlanta on August 2nd and something in, uh, Athens soon oh, yeah, thereafter playing, uh, or the day the after. Athens, Caledonia. Nice. Well, dude, enjoy all of them. Please travel safe through all of them. Thanks and, uh, yeah, dude, thanks, thanks very much. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Cheers.